cookie cutters, God gave you a nose to breathe with so you can keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Can Take a seat. A and you lick their taints every once a week over there, I heard too. Especially the fat ones. Uh, that's for you. <laughs> so you admit it, Freudian slip. I didn't admit shit. <laughs> we deny everything. We think we fixed our technical issue. We're still having one. One of our mics isn't working, so I guess it's a good thing our guest wasn't able to make it tonight, our fourth. Oh, Thanks, Brad. God. Lenny, you want to switch seats? I ate black beans at fucking Pollo Tropical. Black beans, dude, hit, go right to my ass. I fart like a bastard right after I eat that shit. It takes no time. Can you stop eating those on nights we do podcasts? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> black bean you're referring to is that vermin that's growing on the taints of those filthy co-workers of yours oh stop it Leonard they're not <laughs> you'd probably you'd want to bang quite a few of them in there if you got your hands on them well I intend to one day before we officially start I need to give a shout out to Chris Mosley he placed a t-shirt order and it got screwed up. So to make amends, I told him we'd give him a shout out. So Chris Mosley, there's your shout out. We'll be getting the right t-shirt order out to you tomorrow, I think. Except Chris uh, Mosley? Yeah, because yeah. I didn't have a large at my house. Or yeah. had a large His father ordered it for him and the one he originally ordered. Well, that's what I like to hear. Wasn't in stock. When a father orders his son our merchandise, that's a good father, and that's going to be a good kid. It's going to grow up to be a good man. Son, here's your just needs mopped shirt. Yeah. I don't see him getting none of them cookie cutter, you know what's t shirt, which is good. Or a jersey of that thing we never, we on the We never plug our site, misfitsgear.com. <laughs> We're running out of shirts. We should do another yeah. pre sale before we go. Yeah, maybe we will this week. People have been asking. We're running out of sizes. I like the design that someone made that portrays us as we really are. The lineup one makes us look like superheroes. Yeah. Like, I like the one where I'm sort of a dork holding the camera. Lenny's holding the mop. Oh, is but, that the, the, the real uh, bad cartoon of us? Yeah, yeah but yeah. It, it was so bad, it was yeah, good. Somebody, somebody messaged me that. It was, hey, it, we, we could do that. We could put that it was sure. more of an actual representation of what we are and what we look like in real life than the one, <laughs> the one that makes us look like, you know, Marvel superheroes. Yeah, it was, it's cool, but It's yeah. cool, but yeah. not exactly an accurate representation. Leave the superhero look to Jay Cutler and his skinny pants copying off Rob Lynn Bailey. Uh, skinny pants. I don't know who made that shit popular. Roblin Bailey. So fucking dumb. The granny tranny. Uh, you look like you're <laughs> wearing your fucking girlfriend's pants. Like, what are you doing? When when did it become popular for guys to wear tight fucking pants? Why are you stuck? When, when I was growing up, that was a homo. Whoever, whatever guy was wearing tight pants is a fucking homo. <laughs> right? We all grew up around. I mean, you guys are a little bit older than me, but not much. Just anatomically speaking, I... That this comfort level must be it's just these joggers and these capri. When we, we would see people with capri pants, you knew they're from fucking Europe. They're yeah, like, oh, yeah. when you go to Disney World, you see these. That's where the shit starts. You know, they're usually always ahead with the fashion. Yeah. Shit. Listen, I wore MC Hammer Adidas pants in the gym with rips in them for about eight years. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not one to talk about anybody's fashion, fashion styles. I'm just, <laughs> a, it's just a matter of opinion, really. Whatever. Yeah. It's, but I, that shit just does not look comfortable. You know no, I mean? it doesn't. It looks gay. It's like you're showing right. off your a gay anatomy. Yeah. I just, I don't fucking get it, man. I don't get it. It's hard to understand a homosexual mind. <laughs> I've been trying my best, and believe me, I'm stumped. Well, your mind is just, just like no definition. Actually, it's more normal. I think I'm just honest. I think it's just, it's quite normal. What's quite normal? My mind, of course. When oh, do you think so now, what really? Do you consider normal, you know? Who's to define normal these days? That's true. What is normal? I like to touch off the subject of that cookie cutter playing the Madden video game. Oh, that Open shooting fire. in Jacksonville? I can believe that. that. Of course, it had, to, it had to fucking happen in Florida. Well, of course. Of course. What is... I, I mean, don't know the details that, that's of the like particulars. The, these, these, this shit's happening in places where you least expect it. You notice that. If you uh, can't go to a gaming uh, tournament now to play video games and not worry about getting shot, then all, all bets are off. I don't know where you can go. You know, it was movie theaters and now gaming. Well, I saw one church. church. Remember the shooting at the church? Yeah. Maybe. 
that kid, he was a kid, 24 years old. I guess he was in the tournament, got eliminated, ran out, got his fucking gun, and came in and just shot a few people and shot himself. Thank God. Sore Good loser. Thing. Holy crap. Oh, what the fuck, man? What in the fuck? But one, I saw one kid get interviewed saying that they have little to no security at those things. And why would you expect any of these fucking yeah. nerds to have a gun anyway? It's like thinking you need security to go to a bingo parlor. Right. But I, I guess they're all going to have to start walking through metal detectors now to go play video it's games. It's just a selfish, cowardly hatred of human beings, which we're seeing like never before. Did you see the video on YouTube? Uh -huh. I just saw it's, where they, they showed kids playing the game and then the camera went out. No, you can hear it. Not only can you hear the 12 gunshots, but one of the guys who was shot and killed, I think he was one of the commentators, you can see the red dot of his laser scope moving oh, yeah, up and down scope? his shirt. Not a scope, but a laser sight. Moving up and down his shirt, and he doesn't see it. And then the camera goes off him, and about a second later, pop, 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 pop. And he said, he said something to the effect of, oh, shit, what did I just get shot with? He knew he got shot, and he's one of the two people who died. What do you think he got shot with, a marshmallow? Uh, what the fuck? A hollow point. <laughs> I don't know what caliber gun he used. That'll all come out in the next few days. Fucking ridiculous. Then they'll start pissing and moaning about gun control again. Of course. But what do you do, man? Now, there's no, there's no way to like. There's a, have another gun. I mean, somebody if there. The guy has, if the guy had no record, he can get a fucking gun. I mean, how can you just say, oh, you look like you might kill somebody one day? I can't sell you the gun. You know what I mean? If you don't have a record, you're gonna get a fuck. I mean, it's just there's no way to. How do you control it? Like, what is the answer? You, First of all, severe penalties, which they don't, they don't do. When I see videos of that Parkland shooter pissing and moaning and hugging his brother and acting like he's insane, being put in solitary or isolation, there's no punishment there. Exactly. They refuse to Three punish. Three hats and a cot. They refuse to instill fear into people. Well, what do you think should be done to him? What's your idea of punishment? If you can take that Parkland shooter and... Dole out any kind of punishment you'd want from what would it be? Well, at the very least, a start is a speedy trial with a maximum of one appeal and go back to the electric chair. Because the electric chair, I mean, even the lethal injections today. It's nothing. Right. It's like, you know. It's like uh, going under anesthesia. You're done. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the gas chamber was painful. In the electric chair, you're going to feel some pain. Firing squad's too easy. The guillotine is way too easy. That's painless as hell, I, from what I was told. Yeah, how the fuck would you know? They're dead. Well, well they're come back from the dead and record how bad it hurts. Severed so quick, you don't even feel it by the time your head's hit going into the basket. That was actually considered a humane form of punishment. That was like two, three hundred years ago. I say, I, I say you let any parent that wants to, that lost their, you know, their child in that, let them put them in a room with the kid and a fucking baseball bat for a good 10 minutes. Hand good 10 minutes. Tie, tie, yeah, fucking <laughs> handcuff him. So he probably looked like handcuff, tomato paste. Put, put, his fucking <laughs> hands, Five. put his hands behind his back, you know, handcuff him and let him, you know. But a lot of the parents wouldn't want to do that. Some might, though. And some actually will forgive them. I've seen cases where that black lady's son was dragged by a pickup truck by two, uh, some Southerners uh, through the woods. And basically, was skin ripped off his body. He was almost skeletal from being dragged by a pickup. And the black woman actually saw the guys in the stand and forgave him. I don't know how you could forgive somebody for doing that to your kid. I don't give a shit. That's just mm -hmm. one of those those Bible thumping things. Oh, you gotta have forget bullshit. Bullshit. Fuck that. What she says when the camera's on is probably different than what she says when the camera's not. Correct. On. Yeah. Exactly. Fuck that. Yeah, there, there's definitely not enough. But see, and then the media sensationalizes these shooters, and then they just, just get a hard on to want to, more people to want to fucking do it. And a lot of these assholes, I'm sure, when, they, when they're thinking, who knows what the fuck they're thinking. But if they plan on killing themselves, I'm like, I'm going to take out as many motherfuckers. I'm going to kill myself anyway, so I'm going to take out as many people as I want. extreme and cowardice. Exactly. It's a total fucking coward act. But it's never going to stop. Right. You have to stop it. And if you don't, well, that's life. But the question is how? It's never going to, like you said, it's never going to be stopped. There's certain facts of life. It's a, 
Never stop traffic accidents? Because what they have to do is take away your certain freedoms, like getting fucking, you know. What, what did they do in New York? Stop and frisk for a while? Well, they see Was that de Blasio they, that did that, or was it the... No, de, Hell no. de Blasio is the, the polar opposite. I think that was a, Mike, a Bloomberg, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And how did that work? May have even started under Giuliani. As far as I'm concerned, it was great. Yeah. Maybe, they, maybe if they started doing that in Chicago, they can get some of that gun violence there under control. Every weekend, what do they have, another 10 homicides by gunfire? 50 shootings. And again, look at the root problem. Back to that. EBT cards. Section eight. What, what, what do you what, what do you do? The cops the cops I'm sure are scared to even fucking. I know Joe Arpaio is a little old, but get him to set up a tent city. Oh, let them just kill each other off. No, there you won't have the weapons. You'll have a diet of say chicken breast, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. You'll have a. What are they preparing for a bodybuilding yeah, right. show? <laughs> well, that would definitely get them off. You know the health care take care of the health care burden as well i mean that's what it has come to that because the constitution was not written with these people in mind and i don't mention any type of names but well it's just a totally different time and it doesn't include that certain constitution is shit it includes they need it, to revise it, the whole fucking it, thing it talks about people that just been abusing the system abusing the legal system has been nothing but a a leech and a parasite. What do you do to parasites, Brad? Kill them. Correct. Smoke What's the next best out. thing? <laughs> Just like the communists do. A re-education camp. If they all want to be socialism, and socialism is a form of communism, well, guess what? Set it up to where you're not living in a nice new plush. What makes me sick down here is that Habitat for Humanity, which <laughs> Jimmy Carter started, but I think Big Rob took up the... <laughs> <laughs> When I, I actually had a coworker habitat. just clicked that got a habitat, you two of them that had habitat for humanity homes for God knows why. And I was actually asked by my director years ago if I wanted to come and volunteer on the weekend <laughs> to build a habitat. <laughs> how, hard for, was it, how hard was it for you to not laugh? <laughs> just as same as when he asked me to, to contribute to the uh, Heart Association of America. I told him when they truly want to end heart disease and give up their big six failure salaries, then I'll contribute. But I don't think that the American Cancer Society does not, because they wouldn't exist. Everything's a big bureaucracy. Absolutely. It's all simple solutions that our president has in mind, and I hopefully unleashes it when I hope the hell he gets reelected. He will. Nothing would surprise me though, Andrew. He's going to win by a landslide, you watch. I don't know, man. It just depends who they who the who? Democrats put Joe up. Biden. Right. Who no, the hell are they exactly. going to put up? That's, that's nobody. That's why he probably won't Hillary win. Clinton. They're, they're, he will win by a landslide. Fucking scumbags. Every last one of them. They're all full of shit. Fucking lying snake motherfuckers. And they didn't get in the position that they're in by not fucking somebody over along the line. Well, that's all well and good, but when you don't talk about the ones that are actually destroying this country. And want to. They really do. They want to destroy it to its It's all core. about the money, Leonard. Follow the money. That's what it's all about. Who's contributing the most? Yet Obama, who received the highest illegal donation for his campaign years ago, nothing's ever said about it. Didn't he just buy an $8 million house? Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what about John McCain, yeah? Yeah, big war hero, big fraud, big phony, big. I think so. Tool of, they call it the military wasn't industrial he, wasn't, complex. Wasn't he? His whole family was involved in war profiteering. Wasn't he tortured for like five fucking years? Mm -hmm. He claims he was, but he, he never. He was. he was not. He was spilling his That's guts out. That's why he couldn't lift his arms up. They used to hang him by his fuck. He used to hang like this. Oh, That's why his shoulders are all fucked you know, when, up. When he was first captured. Because he was the son of an admiral, they were going to let him walk. They said, "Go, you're free to go," and he refused to go. Get Bullshit. the fuck out of here! You, you don't know that? That's not true. You, I, you, <laughs> one hundred percent. He's a fraud. What do you mean it's not true? It's one hundred percent. He didn't true. want to go because he was getting special he, favors for giving up military secrets. Don't tell me someone's going to stay in captivity five years, Lenny, if they're not squealing like a bird. He refused. Singing like a canary. He refused to leave. They said, "You're free to go. You're the son of an admiral." He stayed.
He, he chose no. he chose to stay at POW for five yeah, years. He could have walked. the royal treatment. I know all about him and his... He almost got a whole fleet killed. I'll have to research that again. But he was a big fuck up. He was a partier. He was a spoiled brat when he was a youngster. He was a boozer, a womanizer, and a loser. Wow. He's a phony. He's a fraud. They celebrate this guy. He's another one. Oh, let's go bomb Iran five years ago. Yeah, for what? What the hell did they ever do to us recently? Nothing. He was with involved in Hillary and Obama and creating ISIS, funding these anti-Assad forces in Syria and he almost got elected <laughs> and well, then he tells the American he, public well, there's no would, reason to be I think he would have got elected if, it wasn't, if he didn't have Sarah Palin bingo, as his running mate 100%. that's where he fucked up he would, have, he would have wiped out Barack Obama when he ran for the president he, yeah, picked, he picked her it's just a, a bird of another that film. ruined his election picking that dimwit <laughs> well he's a dimwit too <laughs> yeah, well exactly Whoever, I mean, whoever advised him on that was just... I and mean, his daughter's an even bigger dimmit. She'd keep her mouth if, shut. If he wanted to pick a woman, he, he should have picked Condoleezza Rice if he wanted a woman running mate. <laughs> Who said she was a woman? I heard she packs heat. That's a con <laughs> condom pleaser Rice. <laughs> she looks I never like heard a closet that. tranny to me. Ugh. Fuck her with your disgusting dick. Keep women out of politics. I mean, women out of a lot of places. <laughs> Uh, me too, Leonard. Hashtag and one good, good fuck woman you. leader in history. One. I don't know. Golden my hair. She went. <laughs> You're the history buff. She went crying to Nixon. They bailed bailed her out. Margaret Thatcher had a conservative parliament. None. They're going to be putting up Michelle Obama, ver for Michelle Obama. Oh, did you see that Photoshop of you and Michelle Obama? No, I like this. By Lenny Person's Last Direction. No. Did you see? I hope it's pretty. <laughs> I hope it's very obscene because it's not. It's it's actually pretty. Fucking did funny. you ever see the the video of her on the um, Ellen DeGeneres show dancing? You can look it up on YouTube, and you can see what yeah. looks like a dick moving back and forth oh, in yeah. her pants when she's dancing. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. It's either that or she's wearing a an oversized clit. Yeah, or a vibrator, and she's getting off. Oh please, <laughs> you're fucking nuts. I remember some creep at the gym said, "Ellen DeGeneres, she's a cool chick." Yeah, she's real cool. It's wonderful, annoying fucking dyke with that haircut, <laughs> coming out disco <laughs> dancing. Oh boy, <laughs> I gotta find it. Hold on. But getting back to him, yeah, you know, keep rolling on these fucking broads. John yeah, McCain's a fraud. And the mil like I said, the military does. When you're a war profiteer, like him and his family were, that's the worst of the worst. I think Donald Trump flew the, the, st the flag at half staff for like one day on the White House and he raised it back up. And there was such a backlash that today they brought it back down to half staff. Yeah, he, he really didn't like him. Huh? No, no, those two did not like each other. What did Trump say? He said he's no hero. He got caught. Yeah. People who get caught aren't heroes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember when he said that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think. Oh God. I think. I think the word hero and genius is thrown around a little fucking too much. All right, for who's my, a for current my modern day hero that's alive? Andrew and Brad. I like to ask you these questions. Who do you consider a modern day hero currently alive? My hero. Hmm. A modern day hero. I can't find it. I don't know where the fuck that went. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe Thank it was. You. I think it was Rich Piana's last scoop. Maybe that's what got him deleted. I don't know. You stumped me, Leonard. Yeah, I'm thinking. Well, anybody that runs into a burning building and will save people, and you know, that would anybody be, that runs into that, a burning that would be building. that would be a hero, right? You could classify that person as a hero, saving babies and possibly. What would you what would you define a hero? Someone that can change, start a movement in a positive way to upset a disturbing negative trend that's going on, whether in a country or worldwide. You can say that. And is willing to die for it and loves everybody on earth. That's you, right? That's me. Leonard's a hero. I love everybody on earth as much as I love myself, and I would die for what I say. I well, believe that. I'll tell you what, if somebody... What you just, not the first part, but... What, if somebody what? beats Donald Trump in 2020, which they won't, everyone will call that person a hero. 
I might call him Dude, something he's, worse. You, he's, not get, he's not getting reelected. I don't know what makes you think that. All, oh, these, social, all these social justice warriors, dude, forget. You know 100% people, he's getting reelected. Do you know how many people are going to turn out to vote next time? And, Please. And do you know how many people say they hate Donald Trump, but when they're alone in that booth, who do they vote for? Yeah, Trump. You're right about that, actually. They don't want to admit it in public. They like getting on the news. They like having a cause because they have little get-togethers and stuff. Hey, you can screw girls in the movement. I know what it's all about. Just like the animal rights lovers. They say it's the best place to meet a girl. Tell you love animals. It's a good way to get in her pants. I don't know, man. All the SJWs coming out for the next voting. Watch. Because every, everybody thought, oh, Hillary's going to win. No problem. And so I guarantee you a lot of people just didn't even bother voting. Because they thought she was a shoo in because he's not a career politician. He's a fucking slumlord turned fucking reality TV star. And all of a sudden he's a fucking president. A he didn't even think he was going to fucking genius. win. He didn't even think he was. He is a genius. Win. You're right. He he played it. He played his cards fucking right, man. He he went in at the exact right time. Do, he knew he couldn't beat up Barack Obama, but he knew that if he if he ran against Hillary, he'd do, fuck. You know what Trump does better than anyone I've ever seen? He gets all of his opponents and foes to fight battles on his terms. He trolls everybody into fighting battles the way he wants them fought and they always end up looking like complete and utter idiots and his, yeah he's got a big team behind the scenes his sons are doing it marco rubio he did it to that idiot out in california maxine waters he did it to her he does it to all of them kim jong-un right they try to play his game of name calling and hurling insults they end up looking like complete idiots right because they can't here's yeah. why people go in my opinion to the polls for trump because he brings, he wants to bring back something that these people fought and died for and had hundreds of years, a certain social order. Well, I think these communists never had a great standing in this country. They don't know what it's about. They have no reason to fight or die for it because they don't never had a good experience with it. And that's the difference. Well, it's also, too, when it, all the debates were going on and shit, he was just exposing all of those yeah. motherfuckers, man. What oh, you gave me money. I gave you money. I gave you money. I gave you money. Uh -huh. What he communist was just, country you know, was able to bring out how corrupt world. the fucking system never, really is? Never. Cuba, no. China, no. What about them? They were never able to dominate the world militarily. There was just no fight. There's no fight in them. When Russia fought off the Nazis, that wasn't about communism. That was their homeland. They were fighting for the motherland. Stalin didn't say do it for the for the uh, you know the Reds or whatever the communist cause. No, it was about the motherland, and it gave them a reason to go out and fight. And people of your descent, your descent, not so much my descent because it's I'm like a 19th century, late 19th century immigrant. My family, you may have had it here for hundreds of years, and there was a proper order about things and a structure and certain things and traditions and these SJWs, they want to erase that at every step. Attack the white man, attack his religion, attack his customs, attack his holidays, attack gender, you know, trying to make people say, I don't know what I am or what are they gonna say next? They're a chicken, they're a snake. That's gonna happen. And then again with the pedophilia. Chicken, I'm a snake. <laughs> yeah, it's coming faster than I even predicted. It's coming fast to slap you right in the face. There's a lot of a lot of that going on now, understanding and catering to pedophiles. Yeah, you called it on this podcast many, many, many months ago. You said, watch, it's going to become they legalized. They're getting jumped and beat, beat up in prisons like they used to. They're being watched. They're put in protective custody. Prison rape is almost a thing of the past. It happens, but not like it used to, obviously, with the advent of the cameras and such. But. That is a thing of the past. There's no fear in them going to prison anymore. No, there's not. Look at Jared from Subway. He's in there trying to run the show. I saw in the last, I don't know, on the internet. He's throwing his weight around. He's a yeah, big believe, guy. Believe he's everything you off. read on the internet. There well, that's again. true. He's waking up. He's not in there getting his people. Oh, he wouldn't last a week. Not only is he, he's fucking running his mouth, and pushing people around. Get the fuck and out Jared of here. That's from fucking Subway. Yes, he is. Look it up. All right. Confirm maniacs. Fact check. <laughs>
I can't disagree with you on shit anymore because a lot of the stuff you say ends up being true. Like when you were talking about that general butt naked, I thought you were losing your fucking mind. But that was somebody. I can't Brad, the I truth believe is it. It's always going to be stranger yeah, than fiction. Hey, listen, man. Jared I, I, from Subway running the G block in yeah, jail. Can yeah, you imagine that? Yeah. That I can't. Demands. That I, I. Hey, Tyrone, I want that guy. I want that guy's face slashed. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll suck your dick later, yeah, Tyrone. That's right. That's probably what he's doing is blowing these fucking guys to get his way. No, nah, that's not going on. No, nah, he just likes little, little kids. What about all your fucking priests from Pennsylvania? What, 400 getting indicted for that shit? I would say some are guilty, but the vast majority aren't. You know, it's just a meeting movement. Fuck the Pope and all There's those money scumbags over there. Too. That's all it's about is money. Well, Again, this Pope is. He's a demon. Follow, the the fuck, follow the fucking money. That's all those churches are about is money, money, money. Give me your money and you'll you got a one way ticket well, that's to well, heaven. That's it, why it, I don't attend them anymore. Here. It wouldn't be it wouldn't exactly. it wouldn't be if it was fucking taxed like exactly. any other business. Exactly. Which is the way it should be. That's why in the hood, there's a church on every fucking yeah. street. Every street. And what goes on there? Right. They talk about the white man. Why do you need a, a church on every street? There's not even enough people to fill the motherfuckers. <laughs> The it's Reverend a fucking right screws, off. screws all the women behind their husband's back if they even have one. I used to have a coworker who would give 10% of every paycheck to his pastor. He said, yeah, everyone in our church does it. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you who else does that, too, when we're done. All right. You can tell us now. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It's a big Bible thumper. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, you know. The, the, I'll tell you. No, nobody you know. But... They're the biggest. Must be some gay guy. They're the, no, they're the biggest <laughs> fucking hypocrites. The biggest hypocrites. I work with guys. Oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Meanwhile, they're married. They got kids, and they're hitting on every fucking chick in the building. The fuck <laughs> out of here, you scumbag! But you want to hide? They only use that shit when it's convenient. I'm a Christian. I'm a, dude, I'm a Christian. Fuck you. You're full of shit. It's ridiculous. I can't stand that shit. So what do you think is going to happen to all those fucking priests? <laughs> Nothing. All these kids. Go, I mean, how many how many people came out saying that Catholic they were Church has so much money, they'll be given settlements like left and right. Yeah. There you go. That's what happens when you repress sexuality. Exactly. They should be a lot. But you know why they don't want <laughs> They can't be married and have kids because then they got to pay for them to be housed. It's got to come out somewhere. It's well, a bullshit fucking rule. Talking to my brother have. who goes to Catholic Church more than any priest has. I mean, he goes, he's in church four, five, six times a week. That's more than a priest. He goes to church more than a pope. He's been doing that since 13 years old. That's his occupation. He tells me every church he goes to, he's known gay priest. Priests say they have gr girlfriends on the side, whatever. He goes, because their lifestyle is like a, a minimum of, say, you're making 150, 200 grand a year. They have food free. The car is furnished for them. Nice car. Travel expenses. That's your brother or the priest? Health insurance. My brother actually makes more than that, but they're, they claim not to take a salary, but their lifestyle is indicative of, say, $200,000 a Right, and they salary. live in a night, they live in the rectory, which is and part of the church. part of the Girls church. coming over, they got girlfriends, they drink, so some smoking weed, you know, all at the expense of the tithers. Mm -hmm. It's like I said, I mean, my father made me tithe and this and that. I could see, you know, at the time I felt good about it and myself, you know, given to care, you know, the starving children, but again, you know, they're not coming to the root of the problem and... You know, I just followed Jesus. I never heard, saw him in the Bible ask for a sense, ever. He went out and talked to people in the woods. He went on the streets with the prostitutes. Organized religion is the biggest business on the fucking planet. Absolutely. And it's the biggest racket on the fucking planet. You also talk hey, about... You know aside from the fucking Indian casinos. <laughs> hey, go online, get yourself a reverend certificate, yeah. never pay taxes again. Look, Reverend Al Sharpton, Reverend Jesse Jackson, Reverend Reverend, Leonard Reverend Run. We should do that. Right. Well, right. Amos, did you include the ragheads on that? The towel heads, Brad? Why do you hold the mic like you're interviewing? I know, I love when he does jacket. that. Oh, by the People way. People can't see when he does that. change the subject, but it, it, the guy on California, Aaron, that's going to join us at, at the Olympia. He's, you know, he's into all this shit. He said he's going to bring a wireless microphone so you can go around the expo interviewing people. Even if we don't, we can just bring one of these mics and you can pretend it's wired up and you can pretend to be interviewing people and we'll film it. Great. <laughs> or in the street, wherever. Doesn't so matter. think about who you want to talk, who, what people, what booths you want to go to to interview certain people. Think about some questions you want to ask them. It'd be fucking great. That's a great idea. Isn't it? That's fucking great. <laughs> That'll be fun to watch these people squirm. We should get you a shirt made that says press on it. 
or me. Or I mean, from, I'll go up to anybody and say, excuse me. Leonard Person, DRM TV. Yeah, I'll go right to the facts. I said, what do you think about homosexuality? they <laughs> <laughs> will say, we think you're a big homo. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm not. Okay. <laughs> There's fucking video to prove otherwise, you check. Videos of girls. <laughs> okay. We're not going to do this again. Can't, tits, can't, big ass. Can't go back. No, no, no. Pretty face. All right. That's enough. Two balls. <laughs> what, is, what does Jay say? Four, two dicks and four testicles. Yeah. Uh, it's fucking funny. Anyway, we, yeah, we talked about Alex Jones last week, him getting fucking booted. He's like a Rush Limbaugh. They're fucking parodies of them. They're just jackasses. How do you take no, anything Alex they say seriously actually, anyway? He's actually younger than me and Andrew, if you could believe it. They Get like the fuck out of here. No shit. I think he's in his late 30s, others. right? Are you I think he's in his 40s. Is he? He's Early 40s? Man. Wow. He also, I don't know if he's faking this How or not. How can anybody believe? I mean, he like, has if you a don't. a raspy voice. Yeah. Now, Hitler had that too because his vocal cords were partially destroyed by mustard gas in the First World War when he was a soldier in the Germany, he was a corporal in the German army. And he had a rasp to his voice. And some said it almost hypnotized people. Now, I think Alex Jones, although he always, always spoke against the Nazis and all that, I think he thinks deep down he's. The second coming of Adolf Hitler, and he uses that rasp. Get the fuck out of here. People. No, he's a fucking... But other than that, I like him because he brings thought, and he questions everything. Right, so what's wrong with that? Because he famously well, I think questioned what pushed that... The, uh, the Sandy Hook. Yeah. That's where he went wrong. He said it was all false. He's a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. He's one of those whack jobs. But when they go after him... And the problem is... That's where it starts, man. And then, why They're not showing any outrage. People are letting it slide. We shouldn't yeah, let yeah. it slide. What, what, the, what the fuck, man? It's ridiculous. Someone sent me this question. I, it's probably a troll question, but I'll ask it anyway, just for shits and giggles. Hey, Andrew, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a question for the podcast for you and everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if a girl is on birth control, injection, implant, pill... Is it okay to give her a fat cream pie? Birth control is supposed to be foolproof, but should it be risked? I'm 22 and graduating from Michigan State this year, and I love cream pies. Oh. From Beezy on Instagram. Well, I'll tell you what, Beezy, unless you want to end up the next Sean Kemp or uh, Antonio Cromartie, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, why don't you go ahead and look them up, see how many kids out of wedlock they have, I strongly recommend you avoid the cream pies. <laughs> yeah. What is well, Cr what, Cromartie has? What know. nine kids with seven different women or something what did, like that? What did, did this kid say that the girls tell him that they're on the pill or something? Yeah, which is <laughs> never the, the, trust big, that. the biggest mistake you can make. Never trust unless you're that. seeing her take that pill every Dude, single day. It's much day. more fun to fucking lay a load on her face and tits anyway. What the hell are you? <laughs> fuck. It's much more fun to rent a tan 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 and get it over with. <laughs> then you can get cream pie as well and see how it feels. <laughs> I was reading Jay's comment. I kind of missed what the hell you said there. What do you say? What do you write? Brad does Lenny reps on the dumbbell press. Touch your fucking chest. Was he I, talking about the incline presses Jason filmed today? Yeah, but I, my shoulder's fucked. I, if I could go all the way down, does I would. Jay, Jay doesn't he, even Jay doesn't do doesn't dumbbell presses. Exactly. What the fuck? Well, if you look at most pro bodybuilders, 99% of them are not doing textbook form. I was looking up Paul DeLette from the 90s, footage of him, and he was second to none. As far as size goes back in the 90s and he was definitely not brad's range of motion was much better i do what it's i called can. a it's Wait, called if, a if, window of tension jay if you're locking out the tensions off and you're messing with your tendons and joints and ligaments keep the tension on jay this isn't strict powerlifting rules mr uh, lockouts yeah i mean come on jay like what the fuck everything but it doesn't matter what i what gets posted i get ridiculed That's for right. everything yep. i fucking do even if i do it perfect which nothing is perfect and i know that i do what i can well you're a good company brad so do the ifbb pros i don't i mean whatever does if it hurts i'm not doing it that's it i'm making decent gains i don't give a shit i told people all my life today that i started that eq a couple weeks ago too so that's how you I'm notice doing. any difference I feel better. I actually feel better. My my shoulders starting to feel better. I feel a little bit stronger in the gym. Good for college. And my my fucking appetite has been through the roof, man. That's one thing I definitely noticed. I'm I'm hungry all the fucking time. And also your MK six seventy sevens, a notorious appetite stimulant. Yeah. That stuff has mind blowingly good effects. 
A lot of people say, why spend 500 or 1,000 a month on GH when you could do MK for not even a fourth of the price? Yeah, that bottle is huge. It lasts, I mean, I only do like this much in the dropper. I, I I'm keep holding up like an inch. Wonderful thing. That, that much, that. right? That's all you got to do? For your health, yeah. Because there's really no measurement in that fucking thing. Well, I'll get you. We got plenty of them. We got some of those liquid syringes. I'll get you one. All right. It tastes fucking horrible. Yeah, it does. But that, you know, it's good when it tastes it looks like looks like apple juice when you put it and it comes in a, in a gallon. Yeah. It doesn't taste like it. But yeah, I feel good. So whatever. I do whatever makes me feel good, not you fucking creeps. Bad saying, Brad. I don't like that saying. My father what? always warned me about What's that? The people that live to feel do what feels good. Well, you know what? I'm, I mean, I lift and I try to make progress for myself. Not for, if I wanted to do it for other people, I'd be like these assholes that fucking take their shirts off and pose in the fucking mirror every day and take you know, their gay for pay fucking selfies and shit. When do you see me doing that? Never. Because I... I do this for myself. You understand? Yeah. I'm not there to fucking impress anybody. I do it to, to challenge myself with the lifts and shit like that. I know they say, oh, deadlifting and squatting or ego lifts and this and that. It's, it's just about pushing myself. That's it. Also, you got to enjoy the ability to lift like this now because exactly. in seven or eight years from now, when you're my age, shit. you're probably not going to be able to do it. Right. Right now, I feel the strongest I ever have, except for this shoulder issue, but, you know, you work around it. But, you know, these people, could, they, they love to criticize, but I don't... Uh, and, you know... You click you, on their profile, they got no, they see, got no posts, <laughs> they're following a thousand people. N not only that, but, trolling. like, for, for those who remember Sean, who used to appear in the old Delray Misfit episodes at the World Gym, he was bald and always wore the orange visor. About three or four months ago, he was riding his bicycle, and he was hit by a Jeep. And just this past weekend, I saw him at LA Fitness. For the first time, he was able to do chest and do very light benching. So for almost four months, he did no chest, no benching. He lost a lot of size. Brad separate, saw him for yeah, the first he separated time. Separated his shoulder. I felt he, he showed it. He had me feel he had a it. Whole, I saw him a few weeks after. He had bruises all over him. Luckily, he didn't get paralyzed or anything. But I guess point being that, you know. You never know when something can happen to you, and you can't lift for a very long time. And right. Sean was in great shape, and he still is, but you've got to make the most of it while you can. Yeah. Plus, if he wasn't in that good of shape, just like Dale, I mean, you yep. say what you want, you don't recover. Yeah, and if quickly. I was never 300 pounds, I would have flew in the other lane and get run over by cars. Yeah, exactly. And I got hit. Right. They so. kept me on that planted, my 320, 30-pound body weight. So, Dale, if you're out there, let us know the outcome of your latest he surgery. He's, he's, he's very quiet lately. Bicep surgery, right? Yeah. yeah. I think Dale's laying low until he's about to strike. I think so? Yeah. He's staying high. hiding. And strike in his case means... That's what he wanted to do for the Ruby last year. He didn't want to show his physique yeah. until he stepped on yeah. stage, but that didn't, that didn't work. Well, nobody stopped him. He's did it throw poses at us. Well... All right, question for Leonard from your, your boy, Adam McC McCloyd. I heard recently primatine that you can purchase at Walgreens via showing your license contains ephedrine, not ephedra. What are your thoughts on ephedrine, and do you take anything with it now? Back in the day, I loved it. It drinks me and Andrew Cleary called Extreme Rip Force, and Ultimate Orange was a pre-workout. Had the pure ephedrine, ephedrine hydrochloride as well as Thermadrine, many other pills, you know, rip fuel, the originals. Jesus. That was one of the worst crimes ever is taking ephedrine out. I don't know what their reason is, but great performance enhancer, great pumps. I mean, for a vasoconstrictor, you could have fooled me. And it also has anti-catabolic properties. Uh, I haven't done it recently, and I'm not intending to do it unless I do a contest next year. But, yeah, they have the bronchade and the ephedrine. Uh, Primatine, you should be able to get them over the counter at the Walmart pharmacy just there's a limit on how much you could buy but still a best bet that'll get you going pre-workout every time that's a good one and that the replies are actually good this here let me see it and thanks Adam we're getting close she's getting close to Cuntalini she says li the news is she she's officially in, in Italy in Italy good I'm glad I didn't go looking for her in fucking so Italy. next year maniacs start it right now you can do put as much as you in go fund me big Lenny Going to Italy for next year, and you guys can see the meds. Actually, I actually plan on going to Italy next year in Spain. 
I'm coming with you, pal. You want to? I have to. We could probably make that happen. We have to. Monumental. Stay healthy. How's that? I don't understand. Yeah. Can't they just watch him on YouTube? Well, read what that guy wrote. The last one here? Yeah. yeah. Someone should bit shoot the library ASAP. Meaning what? Download them? Yeah. So yeah. people already have all these episodes downloaded. Uh, it's what, Mystery Hunters with Christina no, Parker? No, the Mystery Episodes. Oh. So before the SJWs take those down, too. <laughs> What happened to Todd and Sean? I just talked about Sean. Sean's doing good. I see him every weekend at um, LA Fitness in Boca. Todd went, I don't know. Have you ever, have you seen Todd? No. Me neither. <laughs> What's Lenny's excuse for being a cookie cutter out on the boat getting sick everywhere? It's 700 pounds seasick, baby. <laughs> so I'm carrying so much muscle that that medication couldn't permeate my entire body because I was heavy laden with muscle. But not once did I beg to get part of, to get taken ashore. Not once. I would have stayed out there all day if Brad wanted to. Here's a good question. Why doesn't Lenny ever wear a hat or sunglasses? You guys were on a fucking boat. Everyone had protective wear on but him. Sun damage UV rays account for 80% of aging. He wore a hat for like 30 seconds. <laughs> I did a little video. He took it right That's out. true, sir. If you're dehydrated. If you're not taken in the essential oils. If... Your skin is lacking in collagen content. If you have wafer thin skin, you're going to have problems. Or if you're a ginger. <laughs> the same reason I don't wear condoms. Protect me from what? <laughs> Sir, why don't you go live in a bubble? The gonorrhea you once had? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were a fucking trooper out there, though, man. After he got sick like a dog, he still got up there and fished. Yeah, it was fast. After I almost went overboard. <laughs> yeah, that would have been horrible. I would have jumped in to, cut, to save you. <laughs> you would have sank, you fuck. <laughs> Andrew, who was the potential special guest you were talking about on the live stream last week after the failed podcast? Um, actually, the special guest who was supposed to be on with us tonight, blast from the past. You guys probably remember Big Chef Brian. He did a couple of workout videos with Jason maybe seven or eight years ago. Um, he moved to North Carolina few, for a few years, and he recently moved back down to the area. He and I got in touch. We used to be coworkers in what, I think between 2008 and maybe 2011 or 12. And um, that's how we knew each other. We're still friends. And um, He's he, got some good stories to tell. I understand yeah. he was the head chef at the Jansa State during that time <laughs> period. And he was a corrections officer, too. So he's got some really, <laughs> he's, he's got some stories to tell. He'll make so, he, it, so he's been... He can tell you about the rapes. He's in jail. been stuck where the sun doesn't shine. I yeah. think by inmates. But he wasn't able to make it tonight. He got called into work. So um, we'll try again next week if we can. Andrew, can you talk about the stacks of cash Jason keeps waving around on his Instagram? Yes, it's fake. He's basically asking to get robbed, but no, because everyone knows it's fake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> by the way, if they're not real, does he know it's a crime to possess counterfeit money? <laughs> Does he know? Probably not. If he did know, he probably wouldn't care. I, I try to explain hey, listen, this. sir. How many he, cookie he, cutters he, are wearing counterfeit Nikes and counterfeit shoes? You're all doing that. Getting shit from China. That's a very good Talk point. Talk about counterfeiting to me, you cookie. You counterfeit to be a cookie cutter. And most people are. Like the, the uh, ghetto trash with the... The handbags. Living in a fucking <laughs> Section 8 housing yeah. with a $600 handbag. I'm impressed. Made in China. That's where the counterfeiting is. <laughs> Open up your eyes. Yeah, no shit, man. Who cares? We, I've heard cookie cutters crazy. for years brag. I got these shoes for $40. And so what? I got mine for $20 at Walmart. Well, What's J the difference? Jason spent $60 on a stack of fake cash. $10,000. That's why I asked him. I, he, I doubt he'll put it in his video. You know, he loves to edit out a lot of the, the shit that I yeah, say to I him. He's such a fucker like that. But <laughs> he's such a fucking <laughs> jerk. Whenever I call him out on shit, and then he'll, he'll edit that part out. I asked him this morning. I was like, how much do you pay for that? You got stacks of $10,000, $100 bills. I'm like, how, do you, how much do you pay for each stack? It's 60 bucks. <laughs> Just a very matter of fact. What? No, no, no. Uh, that was when he was over there. Oh. Now, this is real. This is fake money. It's the fake real money. It's a movie but money he, or some shit. He had a stack he, of movie money from he, a while ago, he too. He spends his real money on fake money <laughs> to make himself look like he has real money. You can't make it up. 
<laughs> so fucking, he's just a fucking goon. What are you gonna do? He's a dipshit. That's Jason. That's just, I, that, I, I don't know. That's if what he's makes just, him I, so unique. Yeah, I don't know if he's trolling all these these faggots that like to flaunt their fucking money around, or if he's just hoping to fool people. I never thought of it that way. Maybe he, he is. You know, hoping to fool. He can't actually think that he's fooling people. And I said that to him. Like, you honestly don't think these people believe that that's real money? That's ah, a funny joke. It's funny. It's yeah. funny. I'm like, not really. But if he's trolling like these idiots, like your your boy Takashi, the 69 fuck face with the rainbow hair, uh, let me get fucking, you know, wave around thousands of dollars in cash. So just rob me, please. You're just asking to get fucking robbed. Oh, this guy. You look at his ice on my wrist. Ugh. Where is he getting this money and who's paying for it? Some f fucking dickheads Who, the rapper? That, that like their fucking shit music. People pay money for that? Yeah. Like I always yes. say, you're going to pay money to that. Wipe your ass with it first. At least I'll feel better. Light it on fire. Fuck. I have more respect for you if you just fucking burned it. That's right. He Support might, these jerk offs. He might be going to jail in October. Good. Fuck them. That rainbow hair. They'll be Protective fucking gangbanging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He'll get the PC <laughs> for sure. He's a real scary looking individual. <laughs> he just got a rainbow grill that I saw. Fucking morons. I think his pubes are rainbow colored too? No. I thought he was I thought it was a girl. So did I. What else do we got here? Question for Lenny, is there any benefits in having a cold shower for bodybuilding? Yes. It's to keep so you sweat less, basically. Do you recommend like a like a jacuzzi after you work out? Andrew, uh, Koth Andrew is telling me about I believe a cold a swimming pool. Yeah? You think that's I better? don't believe in this you know, in the heat. hot. I believe I've seen guys, old so time ice strong bath, men, ice bath. and even Russians would jump in an ice cold water. Mm. So you think in the middle cold is better than the heat? Cold actually causes more blood flow to parts of the body. You were great in that fucking cryo thing. You yeah. didn't fucking move. So were you. You went in barefoot, which was unheard of. Stupid. That's why I was that fucking... Girl that's why I was ass. moving around my she, feet. She was getting off on the fact you were being tortured. Yeah. I think she needs to come in there and tie you up again, sexually torture you. I'd let her. Here's Question a for Brad. <laughs> What's the best whiskey to drink? I like Crown. Question for Prince. If there is one thing you could change, what would it be? That's sort of vague. Yeah, exactly. Could change what? In his life, in the world, and <laughs> I'd have bigger calves. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club. Yeah, right. Andrew, what's your advice for a young man trying to save money to be well off when I'm a little bit older? Should I buy a nicer car now or wait till I have my own place? Well, you should never buy a nice car. You should lease a nice car. A car is a depreciating asset. As soon as you drive it off the lot, no matter how, how nice it is, you, it immediately loses a quarter of its value. So you may as well lease a nice car. Uh, you seem to make a decent living, so I thought you could help me out. Um, I would stay out of debt. If you can't afford it, do not buy it. Um, Credit cards are getting in a lot of fucking trouble. Credit cards are the devil. I was once in bad credit card debt. It sucked. It took me a long, to long time, but I dug myself out of it. If you can't afford it, do not buy it. Um, if you're young, I don't know how old you are, don't knock anybody up. Unless you want to make a payment once a month for the next 18 years for the equivalent of a 65-inch LED TV, <laughs> then feel free to knock someone up. But, you know, if you want to sign up for a life of, of financial misery, you know... Thanks, pal. Don't, don't get me. <laughs> don't, don't knock anyone up. Use protection. Yeah. And if I could or beat your meat. It, don't be a cookie cutter. When everyone says, oh, I'm going to go to vacation. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to go to this concert. Think to yourself, do I really want to go? No, I'd rather stay home. Like, oh, I'm gonna, let's go out to a that's, club. That just depends. Let's that's stay home. Depends on the person. You got to differentiate between wants oh, and needs. Look at these what do you shoes. Want, look as at these clothes. What you actually fucking need. Don't need it. Doesn't matter to me. Not buying it. Don't feel the need to keep up with the Joneses when it comes yeah. to certain things. Well, some people don't understand the value of a dollar either. You know, they look at one thing that costs this much. They look at another. You got to think about like, oh, if I go buy a fucking pair of shoes that cost a thousand dollars, that that a thousand bucks you could pay for a trip to fucking Vegas, let's say. What, you know, like forgets what's, the oldest wisest saying ever: when you get money, you pay yourself first, which means save it first. Yeah, but what do you say? Take a portion you, for yourself you, you first. Sa you save it, and then then you have it. Then you invest with it. But nobody seems to do that. Invest in what? 
you wait and you see and look for opportunities, but if not, have you earn an interest at some point or somehow and you've got to find something which gives you higher interest. But it regardless, regardless of that, you pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. Less, the less bills you have, you get that check you in, you figure out what am I going to save first? And then you look down and see that you're so no, you have to pay. Bills. You have to pay your bills first. No, no, no. You pay you got, yourself. And then, first. and then what you got left over is what you're going to you pay yourself. Well, you're not first. in fucking reality. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is the oldest, no. wisest saying. You have to pay your bills first, Leonard. I do. And then what you got left over, you either save it or you fucking spend it. That's fu it's very simple. No, that's. Not the way. What, well, what, what are other options? What? Are, yeah. There's a. It's pay yourself first. If you look at the oh, book by Napoleon Hill. What is that? What exactly does that mean? Listen to Leonard Young. Man, that about means money. this is a fucking guy. The first thing, the most important thing you do with your money, is to save it, and that means paying yourself first. Before you pay yourself first, and then you look at what else you have, and then you start cutting things out. But when you pay yourself first, your eyes see clearly about how unimportant some of the other stuff is. But I don't follow it to a T, and that's what the situation I'm in. I'm in, but that's the wisest savings advice that you could pick. It's thousands of years old. All right. Hey, Lenny, question. And this is a good one because we, we could all comment on this. Is working out without using steroids even worth it? I've been lifting a while now, and I'm currently stuck at 200 pounds, and I spend so much money buying food and protein supplements with the money I could have used on steroids that actually work. How old should is I, he? Should it's, I ditch of course he it's worth it without age. it. Of course it is. Should I ditch the whole natural bodybuilding BS and start juicing? I no. Say, no. I say do the... Natural, yeah, is fine, but once you hit a plateau, that's when it's time to do the steroids. But, the key, but who knows how old he? I don't know how old. I need to know how tall he is too, because like yeah, me, 200. I'm an ectomorph. It's always been hard for me to put on any size or quality gains my whole life. Lenny, when you first met me in 1998, what did I weigh? 160. I was You're the only guy that's gotten older, has gotten bigger with muscle. One of right. the few, which impresses me. But I didn't really. And you did that naturally, by the way. Um, I I did, but my body would only let me get so big. Until I started doing tests almost a year and a half, a little over a year and a half ago. That's when I was finally able I to. I thought you were from Italy or something. I saw you, you looked like a foreigner to me. And I thought you were the <laughs> type of guy, like, like a waiter that was working two or three jobs. It had a ton of stress. That's the impression I yeah. got for you, just being honest. When I moved down here, I was very skinny. 6'1", uh, one, about 160, 165. Oh, shit. I worked out. It was very hard for me to put on size. Plus, at the time, I had a job where I was on my feet running around burning calories for eight hours straight. When I worked at Sunday House, you know where that is yes. in Delray, for a year and a half. Um, and then I also, when I, when I stopped working front of the house and I got an, an office job sitting on my ass, no longer burning calories all day, is also when I was able to start putting on a little bit more size. So I wasn't it's in... It's not been sloppy fat, which is good. No. Yeah. But I was always in a caloric deficit, no matter how much I ate. And then the real boost came when I started doing the 200 megs of test a week back in, what, March of 2017. And now I'm probably way close to 205. You know, I actually look like I, I lift. <laughs> you actually look like a college football player in your middle-aged man. But getting back to the... Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck at 195. I mean, life isn't fair. If you're taller, you're going to have to pay more money mm -hmm. for food. Is it fair? No, but nothing in life is fair. I don't know where this guy is, but you know, maybe he should go get test levels checked. And again, look at your training. I mean, I wished, and Andrew Clure, we've talked about this before. If we're teenagers, was our eating optimal? I mean, six to eight, six meals a day at least? No. Was our training optimal? No. Were we hitting the basics with everything we've got? No. That was, should have been done. My plan to every young guy, and I wish you were 12 years old, 13, is you get in the weight room at 13, you do the movements, you slowly do the basics, no isolation movements, barbell movements, some machines, and you slowly start adding weight but keeping your form. And once you got three or four years under your belt and your, your progress is slow but your eating's on point, then you can sneak in an anabolic. I mean, I know this so-called drug testing in a lot of Texas and Florida and New Jersey, but you should take something like Anovar as a high school student. It will help your bone density. You'll gain mass with it. It won't ruin your huge output of testosterone and other hormones that are produced naturally. 
And then you do a few years of that, and depending if you're a college tested athlete, whether you know those tests are more tests are more strict, then you add something like an androgen, like maybe some tests or some D ball, and you can become an absolute monster. And I, I think of something like how similar to what Dallas McCarver did. You know, I'm not talking about his health effects or his death, but that's something what he did and was because he was a college football player and he lifted, you know, naturally was probably tested. Then he went on and, you know, the end of the story. But you can definitely, you got to push the eating and the training and the sleeping 100%. That's something I regret on too. Once you lose that window, guess what? You're done. You don't want to start doing everything at once because you want to milk the most out of each phase. Now, I'm talking about maximum muscle gain and maximum strength here. I mean, if you're an athlete, you, you can't go around 300 pounds as a quarterback. But if you're, you know, a lineman or a fullback, a wrestler of whatever, you know, add as much muscle as you can. But, and for those of out there that don't refuse to do it as adults, you're missing out on technology. It's like saying, I'm going to go vegan and train. That's a big mistake. You know, and people say, I'll never take injectable testosterone. Well, that's a mistake, too. It's going to ruin the quality of your life. Yeah, in the you got to you got to be open minded. Yes, to and a if point. You, but if you're willing to dump all the fucking the bullshit supplements into your body, right? You, I mean, you might as well do the real shit. I agree. I, I this kid, he, he you know, what, I don't know if he's a kid. I don't know. Is it? Food, we need more information. Yeah, food is expensive. Food is important. It only helps your body. It helps your health and your life. You want to eat optimally. You don't want to follow a vegan diet. That's malnourishment. I'm tired of hearing about these vegans that say how healthy they are and this and that. You're not. I mean, I'm not saying go overboard and eat meat three or four times a day like I do, but, you know, you got to include that. Everyone should be able to eat red meat, every human being on earth. Well, they can take a supplement to, you know, iron pill or whatever. No, it's, it's not the same. It's not. You're right. In fact, I know people taking iron pills have horrible gastrointestinal problems from it. There's enough iron in the meat. What I do is I've been taking desiccated liver tablets, I think Andrew Clore does as well, and taking those for years. That's the most absorbable form of iron. That's almost like eating a food. Liver liver's very nutritious. You don't see me eating it though, I think it tastes horrible. But I think desiccated liver is a good supplement. My grandfather used to like liverwurst sandwiches. <laughs> That's all they had, you know. Yeah, it's old. That's cool shit. He's from fucking Pennsylvania like you. Yep. <laughs> Don't fuck this one up, Andrew. So far, so good. Meaning the podcast. Yeah, I was always, you know, under the impression, or I was thought that you would, you want to take steroids when, if you, if you want to get bigger, when you plateau, because everybody has a natural plateau where you're not going to, your body is not going to get any fucking bigger without taking something. And once you are working out for long enough to hit that, that's when you start. But don't forget you got to build that. Ba you got to build yeah. that base, though. But adding an additional 100 grams of protein day to the diet, adding a meal or two to the day. Well, yeah, that's got to be explored try, yes. as well. You try everything first, and also your sleep. You know, what are you doing in sleep? I mean, can you see Jason Genova fidgeting on his phone all night? I do. Dude, he might sleep two hours a day at best. What do you think, Andrew? He's addicted to caffeine and energy drinks. Yeah, he does not. He's. He actually looks pretty healthy considering that type of abuse. Well, he doesn't drink alcohol. I'm trying to actually no. wean myself off caffeine a little bit. Yeah, I stick with one cup of coffee, but I've been drinking pre-workout now, which it helps because, dude, I, I don't know, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to reevaluate everything right now about going to the gym that early in the morning. There's some days where I just don't, you know, I get up and I'm like, I'd rather go at night sometimes, you know, but I don't because then by the end of the day, I'm too fucking tired to go. I'm, I run into that problem as well, but sometimes if I fall asleep, I'll fall asleep four hours, which I did last week. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to meet you, which I apologize for, but... That's all right. Sure uh, but I've always said to myself, you know, there's a will, there's a way. Go home, relax, but... That way, one way a pre workout's good. Me, I, if I, yeah, if I. If okay, I, once you take that pre workout, it's on. Right. Yeah, You're going to get in that, there. If I took that after work and my body's already warmed up because I've been working all day, I, would ha I can't go home for it. I would have to go straight to the gym. Because if I go home and I eat and sit down, I'm not going to fucking gym. What me and Andrew Kalor always did was when we were feeling a little bit down, I'd say, Andrew, find the hottest girl that you want to fucking have sex with. Anything, you know. Point her out, go up to her and say, you look hot, you're motivating me, or I love you, or something like that. 
and then go do your weights. <laughs> works, every, works every time. Say whatever the hell you want to her. Yeah, hopefully she's And it works you. every time. I saw that black, remember that gorgeous girl we saw that looked like a model with a big ass? That time we were in there, I saw her again yesterday. I gave her a wink, she smiled at me. She Which is one was fucking that? nice looking. Which one was that? She was in the leg extension that one time, remember how beautiful she was? The, the, um, the Spanish, the little Spanish black girl. girl. Oh, the, oh, okay, okay. Uh, With a really abnormally big ass. Yeah, I think she may be a. She, ten, ten, she ten. had some fucking. She may be a tan, tan, tan. I hope she is. She was, th she was thin, thin, very fitness. beautiful. Face. Which LA very fitness. thin. No, Planet, Planet. Fitness. Oh, Planet. Well, our memberships are done. At Planet yeah, Fitness. we're done. Somebody with that, asked please. if we would film a video with Richard and Mark there, but yeah. me and Andrew have no more Planet Fitness membership, and I'm not renewing mm -hmm. it. No interest. Well, I mean, you know, obviously my location LA for Fitness me. membership is up in March. I might not fucking remember. I don't know. Anymore. I don't know why I Big Richard doesn't go back to LA. They invited him back after he got kicked out. They invited it's, him it's, back. It's you didn't. Pride, you know that? Thing, they sent man. him a letter. Yeah. We'd love to have you back at LA Fitness. He threw it out. Yeah, why like, would they do fuck that? that, Jim? Probably want his money. Yeah. Oh. I spoke to him it's, the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. He called me because he had a package that was scanned. Um, you know, attempted delivered because he needed to sign for it. So he's like, Brad. Where's my fucking package? He's like, I called over to your post office and some bitch answered the phone. And she fucking hung up on me. She didn't yeah. give me any answers I, and she said I was being rude, so she yeah. hung up on me. I said, I, okay, Richard. I'd love to hear her version of that exactly. phone call. He's like, oh, Brad, you've known me for a long time. I was not rude to that. Oh, right. At all. Yeah. <laughs> I started cracking up. I said, what do these people get off not doing their job? You're going to run no, into rude he, customers. He, no, he wasn't. Listen. The package was out for delivery. It was still out on the street. His Mo, his carrier, you know, you know Mo. He yes. used to work out. Yeah, he's Richard's. So I called him. I said, "You got a package, Richard?" He's like, "Yeah, he's got a sign for it." He's like, "I left a notice." I'm like, "Go back and fucking deliver it." He said, "It's okay for you to sign for it." So he did, and Richard called me later and thanked me. <laughs> Call UPS and tell him to do it for mine. I got no pull at UPS, buddy. What can Brown do for you, Leonard? Oh, don't don't answer that. Yeah. <laughs> we already know the answer to that. They get me off with yeah. their 10, 10, 10 Browns. <laughs> Richard's like, it's okay. I know what it is. Come sign and deliver it. I'm like, all right. What test? <laughs> goes, I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> do a controlled delivery to Richard with a DA. The last time I saw Richard, which was the last time I went to Planet Fitness before my membership expired, he was leaving the gym as I was getting there, and he was really pissed off and flustered. I'm like, what is it? This bitch in there who's parked in the handicap spot <laughs> of course, was just out here doing jump ropes, jumping rope. So he goes into the trunk of his car, and he's got this stack of sheets of paper <laughs> where you can fill out somebody's car information, their license plate number, the make of the car, the model of the car, everything. And he puts on his glasses and he's filling it out. He's, he's going right up to her car, looking at all the information, the color of her car. Thin numbers. <laughs> and and he, he sends it by mail to Tallahassee to, and they launch an investigation against a person who was illegally parked in the handicap spot. Is he a picture to document it on his phone or something? No. Well, when he sends it in, they can actually just type in the license plate and see if they have a handicap sticker. She might not have put it in a fucking... You know, on her rearview mirror that day or something. It's like, was it really worth it, Richard? He was just. <laughs> yeah, that's his. Like, that's his. He's pet got piece, such you know? a hard on for well, that he was kind good of thing. At the gym and people with their weights away, you know. Yeah, he was great. He for needs that. something. Yeah. I used to call him the gym police. I'm like that's the weight me, Nazi. And, me and him connected. Him. Oh yeah. I used to go work out. I'd see him there. I'd be like, you're a motherfucker. I don't know if great. he can get away with that now, but when he was really jacked, <laughs> if he told you to put your weights away, you put your weights away. He was fucking great. Man. When Alan Levine awesome. went up to old man Chuck. Who wasn't even doing the weight? He came up, hey, Charles, point of finger, Charles, you asshole, you're going to put your fucking weights away? Charles looked at me, because I wasn't even ever. He goes, I'll knock you the fuck out. Don't you ever come in my face, you old man, and say that shit old again. Old man Chuck was all talking. Oh, he was pissed. Yeah, I know. Charles. <laughs> yeah. you, me and Sid Del Mark were laughing our ass He was big at one time. He, yeah. fucking, he used to man, compete. He really looks his age now. Holy Oh, shit, when do you see him? At the hospital. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's the one that had the... the what was, oh, what you Shut, okay. Stuck up his ass. Yeah. Sex toy. <laughs> which could be any number of things these days. That's right. <laughs> Somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was when we were going to do the podcast in Lenny's hospital room. Actually, oh, I, if I was still employed there, I could get terminated for that, for violating confidential employee information. They call it the, the, through the HIPAA Act that the government passed was a 10 or 15 years ago. They're asking about your job again. Are you allowed to talk about it yet or no? No. Uh, sorry, guys. When he gets the okay from the lawyer, we can talk about it. When I need you guys to converge on the hospital site and protest. Speaking of converging and protesting, uh, Rich Piana's last scoop. R.I.P. to your Instagram. That's fucking horse shit. I For can't what? stand that shit when they do that. Someone flagged his shit. You know, Jay stopped getting deleted once he went to private. Because he, he still says some real fucked up shit. Worse than it used to. And now, because he got like his his Instagram got deleted what three times something like yeah. that, but I, I censorship man, <laughs> I fucking I can't stand that. It's such bullshit. If you don't like what somebody's doing, just don't. And why don't you censors come forward and make your pr- sense? That's the problem. They, that, that's what's they they got so much courage hiding behind their fucking computer. Everyone's hiding. It's but, fucking ridiculous. Hospital administrators. What is and isn't allowed to be posted on Instagram that was completely arbitrary. You'll There's go, no guidelines. You'll go to one of these Insta whore, Insta sluts profiles and it's nothing but essentially nude photos. But yeah. Their accounts don't get terminated and someone posts a sort of racy meme. Maybe right, you know, it's a goof. Photing, photoshopping somebody's face on it and if said person complains, they can get it taken down. It just, no. no. It, it's, arbitrary bullshit. It is. It's terrible. So you, but again, it's it's Instagram is its own. That's the ultimate company. form of hate and intolerance. Censorship. It's by the people who accuse other people of hatred. Somebody stand up and say do something and say something and put a stop to it. Never. It's not not on this. You don't have any guts to do it. It's ridiculous. Look, we got fucking booted off of, what was it, SoundCloud? Yeah. And no, 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 it just, yeah, exactly. Cookie cutter cloud, where are they now? <laughs> Probably where they were before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's all kinds of platforms, you know, but at least we got the site in case of anything. We could always mm-hmm. post shit on there, which is huge, but still, at the same time, you know, it, it's just bullshit. I, I, I can't stand that. If you don't like somebody's shit, just don't look at it. Don't watch it. I, there's plenty of fucking YouTubers and people that I don't like. I just don't watch their shit. I don't care. I'm not going to waste my time reporting them or commenting on something. I don't fucking give a shit. You not know? only that, but let's say Rich Piana's last scoop, for example, made a meme with Diana Maybrook's face, right? Or two or three of them. And then 30 minutes later, his Instagram page gets taken down. People are pretty much going to assume that Diana Maybrook may have been the one behind it. You're just going to get an even bigger backlash from all the maniacs for getting someone who's very popular among the maniacs. Instagram page taken down. Exactly. Take your fucking lumps. Laugh like we do when people right. post memes Look at of all us. The fucked up yeah. shit that we're in. It's man. funny. It laugh. is. You just gotta laugh at it. It's, it's great. I, it, they're very clever, man. I, this these fucking guys Photoshop my face on this. It's great. <laughs> Me and Jay in a Rambo scene. It was yeah. fucking hilarious. The one I think Jay, you know, Jay sent me the picture. I said, "What did he post to get deleted?" And Jay sent me the picture of Dale getting butt fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but Dale would Dale would not waste his time trying no, to get the guy deleted. No. That's there's no way it was him. But who knows if it's it, it, is there any like monitors on Instagram like just people sitting in an office I don't just know how scrolling that through shit and looking at that what could be. be offensive. Whatever there's a loaded. I mean, to, how could you I'm keep sure. track? There's fucking billions know. of posts. You know, what sends up the red flag for these people to do that? And what's their criteria? Right, that's the thing. They that's should, why I said that's it. it's arbitrary. Right. It does not. It, it's it's bullshit. Totally they subjective. Tell you what, what the you rules think are? They're going to censor those filthy Donald Trump memes all over the place now. Lenny, what stack do you recommend for a thirty-four-year-old man to get his head the size of Brad's? <laughs> <laughs> get yourself a penis pump. Obviously, a lot of tests. Fucking, obviously, uh, a lot of tests. Some anadrol. He's too. joking, you fucking dick. I have a dwarf. They thought I was going to be a dwarf when I was a kid. Who did? I'm joking. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? No, they actually projected to be me to be as tall as you. Well, I think well, I stunted my growth when I was. I think they looked school. between your legs as a kid and probably thought you're going to be a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You've seen my penis, Leonard, when it's going in your mouth. 
How long did it take you to, before you made career That's Jay carrier in the USPS? Eight months. Are any of you on the Delray Misfits Reddit sub? What's the Reddit sub? It's a message board. It's a the maniacs go there and post a whole bunch of shit. My buddy Matt, who lives in Hawaii, was trying I've to get Reddit, me. I've seen Reddit. Yeah. Shit. But no, I don't go a few weeks ago, he messaged me on Facebook tell him, telling me to join and interact with anybody, everybody, but I, I can't get Dude, sucked you, into that. Exactly. You'll go down a fucking rabbit hole I, of I shit, can't. and you'll never get off there. No. What do you think about creatine, Leonard? Yeah, it's somewhat overrated. I mean, it can produce an effect in you, but if you're eating as much red meat as you should be doing... I'm not a fan of creatine. Why? I put more water in my, in my muscles, I felt. I felt mushy. Well, that's a good thing. Ah. I retain I think, water. I don't know. I, I think like when it. your fossils are feeling mushy, they're depleted. But that took me 20 years ago. When was the last time each one of you pooped in your pants by accident? <laughs> oh, I almost man. just shit my pants about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I fucking sharded one time. I was going out to a, a route, and luckily I was by a Wendy's, and I'm like, oh, shit. I was, like, pretty much standing up in the fucking truck because I knew I had a fucking gamble fart and a little, you know, whatever. A little shat came out. I went to the fucking Wendy's, went in the bathroom, threw away my underwear, wiped my ass, and went back to work. <laughs> Free ball the whole day. <laughs> that was like... That, it out, man. That was probably fucking, I don't know. That had to have been shit. Eight years ago now. That would like suck that. if you got caught throwing out your underwear at the dumpster. Like no, I, was you, in the, I was in the bathroom. Oh. I went to the bathroom. Hey, buddy, are you throwing luckily, out your underwear? It, it, didn't, it, it wasn't enough shit to leak through to my shorts. Oh, Kimbo's got a good little... I think I had a scare at work about three years ago on a really, really, really busy day. And I had to go to the bathroom and I didn't have time to do it. And I think I just sprinted to the bathroom. And <laughs> Yeah, I did it a month and a half ago. I was doing G. <laughs> After the gym, it's... Uh... <laughs> Like a, squirted out on my shorts, but quite nicely. And <laughs> I simply it out. got on where my washing machine is, took my shorts off and underwear right there. It was all caught in there. I just threw it in the washing machine. I went in the shower. Good as new. Very easy to clean. You're disgusted because I think it was the next day I was over at your house. And you're like, watch out. There's yeah, shit on the floor. There's like little uh, fucking. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of liquidy. But <laughs> really speaking shit. of shit, look at Kimbo. <laughs> Uh, he we, shit earlier. I think he's taking a piss. We talked about Alex Jones already. Let's see. He's such a well-behaved cat. Besides the Olympia, what other plans do you guys have during the Vegas trip? There's a restaurant I want to take you to that's downtown. It's where we saw it. You weigh like there's a big scale out front. If you weigh over 300 pounds, oh, you eat for free. Yeah, you can yeah. do it. You can do a challenge where you eat. I don't know how many pounds of meat or something that it is. You could do it, though. Yeah, we got figs there, too, so... Yeah, that's, we could probably go to... What the fuck is it I called? Think Somebody messaged me what the name of it is. Nate wants to do an eating challenge. You and Andrew Kalora versus him. I think, I think he's trying to set that up. What do you mean, me and Andrew Kalora versus him? He can't even be barely by any of us by himself. That's what he wants Besides, to do. Andrew Kalora challenged him, and he's, he's decisively beat Andrew first. They have, I don't think they have team eating challenges. Apparently, he researched them out there. But what are we going to do? Nothing's off the table. Yeah, we, we, we're open right now. Whoa. We don't have any set plan. The only set thing we got Two is things. to go to the Olympia on Saturday at whatever time we get up, depending on how banged up we get Friday night. <laughs> and Friday, we're going to go to a gym around 4 in the afternoon. And we'll let people know where that gym is the day of. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's about it. We wanted to possibly go out to the Hoover Dam, but we'd have to work on getting a car for that. We'll see. I don't know what day that would be. Maybe we'll go to a pool party on Sunday. <laughs> what do you think about that, Leonard? Yeah. We're up for pretty much anything. We don't have... We Me can... and Andrew have done all this shit out there, so it's pretty much what these guys yeah. are doing. Yeah. We can bring some of Jason's fake money and hit the strip club. That's a good idea. It's Lou of the Hoover Dam. I like to go to the Hoover Tram. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy's mother works at the Mayweather Club. How are you getting there? What's that? Strip it's club. Strip club. Ask Lenny a question for me. In total, since he's been taking gear, how much has he spent in all the years combined on everything? And what year did he feel his very best, biggest, strongest? Has he been close since? Well, my strongest was obviously about 2000, 2000, say one to 2004, 2000. Yeah, I finally cracked the 400 pound body weight barrier 
and I would routinely squat five plates for reps, uh, rack deadlift seven plates for reps, shrug seven, 315 to 365 on the incline for reps, 405, probably like four to six on the flat, skull crushers with two plates. Uh, I've spent probably on gear, uh, probably a good 10 G's or more in my lifetime, but I don't regret that. I just regret my, I wish I would have approached things a little different, more scientifically when I was younger, but we all live and learn. I'll just have to pass those mistakes down to the, to the viewers. Uh, but I probably regret the money if I've spent on, uh, you know, let's call it hookers for lack of a better word. <laughs> you but, cheap fuck. You'd spend ten dollars on those fucking hookers. You got you got your money's worth at all. Yeah, I've been with quite a few back, but that was years ago. And you know, I obviously regret not paying myself first too, but that's all in the past and you can do nothing about it. You can only learn from it. Uh, a lot of people in my situation probably would have killed themselves a long time ago, but I'm not. Why you is know, that? Just from what I hear, you know, there's a lot of suicide that goes on and Did you ever feel like doing that? Everybody's thought about it. Yeah, I agree. But what do you think snapped you out of it? Christina Broccolini. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I got to see her. I got to look into her eyes. It's just, if she can do that over a video screen or a TV it's screen. It's not going to happen if you drop dead, so. Yeah, well. You got to get your diet and your, and your cycles on point. Did you start yeah, taking blood are. pressure meds or no? No. You're such a stubborn fuck. Blood, what I'm going to do is go back to the every Jay other day. Jay takes blood pressure meds. He's as big as he's ever fucking been. It's not going to decrease your size, Leonard. Why it's do you just... Doing? And you're not giving blood. At least you can do is take some blood pressure I don't meds. take anything unless it's direct effect on performance enhancement. Oh, what I will do is that. possibly take a Cialis every other day, which turns out is a great blood pressure medication. Okay. Well, And it has bodybuilding benefits and sexual benefits. Well, so I'll go Viagra, that route. It's a reason. Viagra was first used for pulmonary hypertension. Yeah. But blood thinners, no. My blood's too thick. I simply drink gallons of water. You need to go donate. Here we go with the... Oh, Jay. Yeah, I know. He said... Trent Ace is turning him into an animal. He's on a heavy fucking stack right now. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> my asshole is talking tonight, boys. Yeah, it's saying, Jason, pinch your nose, Andrew. Yeah, Jason was farting like a fuck this morning in the gym. Jesus Christ. He probably won't put that in his video either. We were, I was in the middle of talking to him, and he just rips this fucking loud fart. I'm like, what the fuck was... You know, at first I'm angry because I'm embarrassed. Like, dude, there's fucking... <laughs> he just gives no fucks. <laughs> You and him, man. Yeah, that, hey, don't give that Haitian shit. girl I lived with years ago. She used to fart at Will, too. I loved it. <laughs> oh, my God. Will, you stop with that shit. You're nasty. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh, will you stop with that shit? You're nasty fuck. You like when girls fart? Certain ones. Other trannies, for the most part, 10, 10, 10s, they're too ladylike. They don't like to do that. Even on request. They're too ladylike. Oh, God. They see view that as a pussy, so... They act like the Kim Jong Un, like they don't shit some of them. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Question for the male prick: How did you get into lifting weights? Has your training style or goals changed over time? Yes, obviously you put on size since getting your hormones in check. Yeah, exactly. I got into lifting weights when I was eight. When I lived in Vegas, when I was eighteen, I stopped skateboarding and picked up the weights. Why? What made you do that? I don't know. I was always. I always. You know. I used to watch The Incredible Hulk when I was a kid. Lou Ferrigno. I watched that. Lee Haney used to have a thing on TV, too. I'd watch yeah. that. You must have watched reruns. But I can't make up my mind. There's days, you know, there's weeks or even days where I, I want to get ripped. And then there's other weeks where I want to get bigger. I can't, I like, I can't find like. Simple. You get bigger first and then you get ripped and do a yeah. show. And you're not going to get ripped and stay a diamond. I'll never do a show. I'll never do a show. I, I do this shit for myself. Oh, you'll never get how ripped. I feel. You'll never get ripped. I know, because my diet is not on point. And you're not going to run a train. diet. So I'm basically, I basically naked. go to the gym four to five days a week so I can eat and drink whatever the fuck I want. It's basically it. Yes. <laughs> I'm never going to, I don't think I'll ever be ripped. I mean, I could be, but I'd have to really have a show. Jay Masters ever going to get ripped? Probably not, unless he does a show. I know I could, because I keep, I'm... I'm not that far off, but I just have. Of course, you got Jason you who did a, a show, and he doesn't get ripped. So right. you got to have such a strict diet, and I would just be a grumpy fuck. 
Yeah, it's maddening. Yeah. It's maddening. It's crazy, man. That kind of diet and having to, you know, be on the strict workout regimen, which that's fine with me, but the, the dieting would just make me a fucking asshole. I'm already an asshole. That'd make me a bigger asshole. <laughs> But you get more, you got some muscle there and you get ripped, you get attention from women. Never yeah, fails. Shit. Ask Leonard realistically what would be a good first time duo stack with TRT 400 MIGs with D ball 25 MIGs or TRT 400 and trend 200 milligrams at 20 years old? What kind of PCT is required with either of those cycles? Nothing at 20. It's not necessary to get into all that shit unless you're. An older guy, you've been doing it for years. A PCT, although... What, what would you uh, recommend to stack, though, out of the two? TRT, uh, test start and off with, or test and D-ball? You can just take D-ball. Not even Or test. you can just take... At, test. 20, start off, at 20, you don't even need Start this. off with one compound and add to it 6 to 12 months later. But you got to remember, TRT, people say it gets you back to normal. It does it temporary. Because once you're off the TRT, you go back down to nothing again. Right. You want, we started it. We're going to be on it for life. Mm -hmm. TRT is nothing but a bridge to your next cycle so you don't lose too much. But you will lose a lot. TRT will never compare to the real thing. Ever. Don't tempt me. <laughs> What do you mean? Yeah, I started that because of... <laughs> to, you know, to, I to cross that bridge into something heavier than what I do now. 200 mix of tests a week. Well, oh, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of a, a PCT, post-cycle therapy. Now, that's what I referred to. My, my fault. Oh, you oh, TRT is fine for that age. It's fine for every man. Every man should be on TRT. I thought you were talking about PCT. As far as when people go off, they take anti-estrogens. They take Clomid and HCG to stimulate the testicles to start the luteinizing hormones in the brain. That's what I, I was uh, under okay. the mistaken impression. But you don't need to take a lot, even now, you know. What good's it doing me? Maxing out on that stuff. It's counterproductive. Yeah. I'm going through this shit. You can speak, Leonard, if you got anything to say. I'm just looking for a decent question. I'd like bullshit. to thank my sponsor, of course, New World Nutrition. That liver cleaner is working well. I don't notice any difference in my eye color versus years past. And I take it first thing in the morning. Well, I take it right after breakfast, actually. It's a great way to start the day. Have you what does Lenny think about Larry Wheels? People have been asking about this guy for fucking weeks. Surprisingly, I ask you about Mike it. T brought Larry Wheels to my attention. He was so impressive with his lifts. And I did some research on him. Apparently, he was a big druggy and drunk in high school, but then he got involved in the weights. And he has good genetics, made a lot of strength gains, but he was taking everything in the book. Pro-hormones, anadrol, dianabol, test, trend. He was strong, but he felt miserable. And I see he came onto his sweet spot of strength. You hear this, folks? It's a little strong, but it's not as it's tolerable. He goes with 500 milligrams of test a week, and he takes three Anadrol per day. And some of the stuff he's doing rivals Andrew Kalora's. And, of course, and, he's Anadrol. Like how many MIGs a day? Three. Most of the Anadrols are 50 milligram tablets. Okay, he's taking so, three a day. So, okay. And his strength rivals that of Andrew Kalora's. Of course, they were both around their early yeah, 20s at the time. Bit, he's a strong fuck. Yes, he is. He's got a decent physique, too. A little small. Yeah, and that's real weight. He's not a Brad Castle. Is that, yes. is that the one who did a video military pressing standing, like four yes. plates on each yes. side? Okay, I saw that. <laughs> now, Kalora did 365 behind the neck for a strict seven. No shit. And I'm sure Kalora could have done it. But he was, Kalora was doing it behind the neck. So think how that feels on your rotator cuffs there, cookie cutters. <laughs> All right, so you very like, impressive. Okay, so Larry Wheels, we give Larry Wheels a thumbs up. How's that? Great up and comer. He's, he could write his own ticket as far as how, being a sponsor. He's he only know? 24. Oh, Scary. Oh, shit. Jesus. Christ. To be able to lift that weight, you have to do it at a certain age and you have to do performance enhancement. You have to. If you don't get those, like Jay Masters, he was basically 90% of his strength was at 19. He was a teenage powerlifting champ. He got in his before his early 20s. Unfortunately, that's a, almost a fact across the board. And of course, there's guys where guys have gone on PEDs after 25 and have made great strength and size gains. But I'm talking about that unreal strength. You have to develop that before the age of 25. And the good thing is you can keep it the rest of your life. That's why 99% of these young guys, these young cookie cutters, you got it wrong. You're worrying about looking good, having abs, doing isolation movements. You should pound those basics 
until, until you're a master of those things. Hagen das. <laughs> and don't fuck with any isolation or cable. You don't need it. There's even evidence to say top pros don't need it. Jay said to a guy in the gym, when I was with Jay at the gym the last time, it was a couple weeks ago, some guy was doing cables. He's like, if you want your arms to look like cables, you do cables. <laughs> the, guy, <laughs> the guy just, you know, he laughed. He just walked away. But he actually got it. It was fucking fun. Good point. <laughs> You, you mentioned, you were telling me about the Strength Cartel, mm -hmm. their videos. I watched one of them. They'll be there. Yeah. They, they made a threat to us. That we'll see. No, they didn't. No. They did. No, they did not. Get the fuck out of here. When? It was on a comment section. I don't believe that. Yeah, I said if oh, they ever saw us in their gym running their mouth, they'd kick the shit out of us. Oh, no. That was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did see that. Oh, really? Yeah. He, you know, he's not wrong. That battle was such a long time ago, though. Yeah, they they move some fucking good weight too. Oh, yeah, I was bored at work a few weeks ago, so I just came across their channel and I binge watched about ten of their videos. I made me wish I was as big as one of those dudes. It's fun watching those guys push that weight. Uh, I wouldn't want good to be list. a big fat slob wet back no, anytime but, soon with oh, tattoos. God. Oh fucking winners! They're not all like that. The, the the leader of their crew is a giant. He's kind of reminds me of Chef Brian a little bit. But some of the other guys are just brick shit houses. Yeah, they're young. Good, but it's just it's good videos. Like you watch one of their videos and you just want to like stop doing whatever you're doing and go to the gym and lift, yeah. which is good. I stopped what I was doing and took a dump when I saw their last one. <laughs> oh, I guess Rich Piana's last <laughs> scoop got a new Instagram. He says, "By the way, it's me, Scoop." Big Lenny's, big underscore Lenny's, <laughs> underscore last, underscore tan, ten, ten. You can't keep a good maniac down. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Savage Jono, another guy that does funny ass memes. Has the floor of the dungeon been mopped yet? Of course not. No, actually, Big Mike came here the other day, Mike T, and he was going to bring his dog, but he thought his dog would, he didn't want to subject his dog to my kitchen floor. That's real nice. Why even say that? What? Big Brad Wolf. Because it's true. you usually shoot for 18? Do you have a handicap? I used to be about a 10, but now I'm probably a fucking 30. It's golf. What an IQ. Golf terms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hang around with you and Jason. Exactly. My fucking IQ is about a 30. Oh, your golf terms. What are we, we were, we, were what we is talking this? about that the other day, about what? taking an IQ test? About Yeah, I told Jason to do an IQ test on camera. I'm like, you want views? Do something funny. Get off the golf course, you, you Brad. Do it. I have. I haven't played in since October last year, man. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think I could swing a club with my shoulder being the way it is. I'd be fucked up. Why the fuck would you want to? Because it's fun. I enjoy, yeah. I enjoy it. Why would you want to live like a fucking mongrel? Fuck you. I don't, I don't criticize you for what you do, what you like to do. What do you mean I like to do? I do things I have to do. That's a big difference, not what well, I like your, to do. That's your fucking mindset, Leonard. I, I enjoy shit. So you put the type to start jerking off on the postal because it feels good when you're delivering jerking mail? Off on, jerking off on asshole. that mail truck? Of course not. Why would I do that? Because you said Nothing. if something feels good, you stop whatever no, you do and do it. Whatever. You think what you want. I'm not going to jerk off at work, Leonard. The last Swing thing those I'm thinking about clubs. at work is jerking off, believe me. Swing those golf clubs, That's right. Brad. That's right. Maybe it, I'll it, take you golfing in Vegas. Incoming meme of, of uh, Brad golfing. I have a, I, I've but, put videos up there of me swinging the club. Someone needs, no, someone needs to do a meme of Brad's head on Tim Conway, Dorfong Golf. You remember that? <laughs> Yeah. You remember that, Brad? Thanks, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody do it. What am I looking at here? I don't know what. Nah. Shooting a little ball into a I don't even know what that club. means. I don't even know what that's about. That's so 16th century. Okay, so what? <laughs> you're doing it because you think it's some type of status. I you know. Not you're at all. doing it because you're a cookie cutter. You don't I enjoy, enjoy it. it. You're being a cookie cutter. Dorf on golf. Nobody wants to bang <laughs> sticks against funny. balls that go into you holes don't. over that's and over. You don't. That's you. That's you, Leonard. I think that's fucking that's great. That's you. I, go ahead and put on a helmet and crack skulls with another guy. That's that's real fucking smart, too. Football is fucking dumb, too, Leonard. No, it's not. Yes, it is fucking stupid. You have to be smart. You have to be quick. Okay. You have to be fearless. Those guys are all intelligent, right? Speaking all of football which, players are intelligent, right, Leonard? Get the fuck out of here. It's stupid. Did you All see? those guys are going to have fucking brain damage when they're older. That's a lie. They don't, they're just catching the money. Watch. They're all just catching the money. The Me Too movement. Let's they're, see. They're going to be shit. The not football gonna, in another 20 years is going to be shit. They're not going to be brain damage if they keep changing all these rules about hit, where you can hit somebody. Mm. Did you see Odell Beckham? 41 million guaranteed. 95 million over five years. 
That's what his. That's what Jarvis Landry got in Cleveland. He got like forty-four guaranteed, or thirty-four guaranteed, eighty-five million, some shit over four years. <laughs> the two of them went to LSU together too. He spent a lot of time on the golf course too. I heard in the yeah. off season. Ask Lenny what he thinks about Alex Jones getting caught with tranny porn on his phone. Did you see that? At least he's honest. You like him even more now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it. Any man, ninety-nine percent of men that have a phone. Men that have a phone look at tranny porn. Okay, Leonard. What percentage? About 99%. 99. If you have a phone or internet access, you've looked at it. Period. I don't even need to go any further. Not on purpose. We've looked at it here because you fucking yeah. directed us to it. Yeah, so. <laughs> Lenny had me. What was the name of that tranny he wanted to meet up with in South Carolina? Lucy, the fake one. Georgia, I'm sorry. Yeah. Was it, it was Lucy, right? Yeah, I actually got her Instagram, Mermaid Monroe. She was off Instagram for a while, but she came back. Mermaid Monroe. She it's a real, she it's needed a real to die. Yeah, it's a girl. It's a, she's, so some asshole actually, was she's, using her picture. She's an That's African an African immigrant from Ghana. Apparently, a lot of those Africans are very beautiful, very voluptuous. Wait, so those pictures that you had me save, that's really a girl? Yeah. Yep. Because then when you see oh. Mermaid Monroe... It was some fucking... She's got, a, she's got one hell of a using, camel toe. Using her pictures. She's got a huge camel like toe. Like you said, you can't, it could be a fucking bait and switch. Right. They come well, to the house. Of course. Like, you're not. I wonder what kind of creature was down at that hotel I was almost going to get on there. I would have been pissed off if it wasn't her going all that way. Of course. Would have looked like Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, Ask Lenny what his favorite workout is to develop a good set of tits. <laughs> Pancake tits. <laughs> well, that's just from dieting and losing. No, what's but what's a good to develop your chest? I'd have to start with things I don't have at my gym: Dun incline dumbbell presses, flat dumbbell presses. You know, if you're able to incline press, but like Jay Master said, you get too much shoulder. Flat bench if you're activating. There's a certain position you have to, do to activate your pecs. Flat bench I think fucking hurts. Me dips now. are good too. You know, flies are good, but they're overrated. But definitely the dumbbell presses and, you know. As he's flexing his yeah. chest over there. It's like an involuntary no, reaction. Up. I got to work on mine. But, you know, there's some pictures on, of me that my checks looks pretty decent that I've seen. But, you know, first place to go. But everything needs to be improved. And I sure ain't going to happen on no golf course. <laughs> That's all right. You don't have Is to. Is that golf clubs you I see in your trunk, you Brad? You don't have to. Yeah. You actually. have a whole sporty goods store in that trunk. Thanks, buddy. The Jan Sport bags, like that Nick Hager used to pray down here with. So if you're able to fit that into it. That kid's a strong fuck, too, that yeah. Nick Hager. He's, he's very young, too, isn't he? Yep. He moves some fucking weight. Well, I want to see what he's doing now. He, he decided to go career man. He sits in some cubicle on a computer all day. Oh, really? And now, wow, well, I've do succeeded. Still, do still well, how Instagram do you keep yet? up with all this? Yeah. What, you, what are you, Instagram? Yeah. Have you figured out how to do a live? you got to look at his phone. It's fucking weird. When he clicks on, I tried to help him do a live, and it, it's, it goes to, you, you click on to do the live, and mm -hmm. it just goes to his fucking photos. It's very odd. I don't understand. Why don't you d delete Instagram and try reinstalling it? You probably have to do that. <coughs> Who's that? That that's this Instagram that all of a sudden is very active. <laughs> <laughs> Look at morons at the Kava Sutra. He should have stopped by. I told him to. He's trying to grow his hair out like Anakin in Revenge of the Sith. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Went and saw a comedy show Saturday Night Leonard. It was yeah, great. I saw that. Tom Segura. He was funny as shit, man. The guy that opened for him was pretty good too. That Fultron. You want to go to the next one? Joey Diaz. Yeah, if I can shop back at him. You can. You can heckle him. They'll let you heckle him. Let him call me a porch monkey? <laughs> well, because you are. No, I'll call them them. No, they're not. I don't know. That sounds like I'm del delving into cookie cutter waters here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't want to do that. It's called life experience, Leonard. You got to open your mind a little bit. You're, you're very open to, you know, you want to criticize me for playing golf. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying how pointless it is. If you did, to you, it is. If pointless. you break it down, you're actually, you're actually you're, you have a very valid point. It doesn't. It actually. It is. It is pointless if you're not playing for any money or anything. It's just yeah, you go out. To, it's just for fun. It's a leisure activity. What do you mean by fun? Oh. That was a word I wasn't allowed to use so, growing up. Fun. Someone just messaged me. Hey, Andrew, can you guys talk on a podcast about what to do about lifting 
maintaining gains with a broken hand. Maybe you guys or someone y'all know has some good advice. Maybe you should ask Dale. Or Adam Harper. He just lost his fucking Yeah, no thumb. shit. I don't know if we talked about that. We did, but the podcast got erased. Fucking water skiing. Again, cookie cutter activity. I'm going water skiing. Well, how was your water skiing trip, Adam? <laughs> Double thumbs up, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes back to being a cookie cutter. Everything in life. I don't know, man. Hey, he enjoyed doing it. It was a freak thing. Wait a minute. Like Enjoyment, fun. Life up until maybe 50, 100 years ago was a brutal existence. You had to fight to get water, food. Well, you don't anymore, Leonard. You, gotta, you, you always will be. You always will be. You had to fight off. You want to put yourself through misery? That's your that's night your, riders that's your on decision. the horses, highwaymen. You had to. So you're saying because he was doing a cooker, cookie cutter activity that he deserves to lose a fucking thumb? No, but it's just a wake up call. Hey, you you're know. a little bit old for doing it to do this shit. Maybe I don't know. What do I do? I, I water skied when I was a kid. It was fucking fun. F again. Fun, Leonard. It was fun. fun. Your favorite word. <laughs> fun. And you know what we're going to do? Where do you get this You know what we're going to do in Vegas, we're Leonard? Gonna... We're going to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, how do you feel when you're with the tan ten ten, Leonard? Are you having fun? I'm getting a sexual... But is it fun? Stimulation. Just say yes. It won't kill you. I don't, no, say it's not yes, fun. I had fun. It's not fun. It's, disgraceful. it's not fun sticking a dick in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> and looking up and getting smacked in the face with a scrotum. Yeah, and get my nipples pulled with a, with a manicured fingernails and getting suffocated. Is, I Is that fun? Go right then. <laughs> no. Uh, go to the gym to have fun? No, you don't. So go you don't, work be you don't believe in that word fun? It's illogical. What do you mean by fun? Well, you don't know what the definition of fun is? When does it stop? When does it end? Enjoy the mint, Leonard. <laughs> it's illogical. Enjoyment. <laughs> In reality, Brad, you're not having fun. You're look, you're going for an escape. That's that's, you're, that's partly true. Yeah, I agree with that. To get your mind off something else, you're taking a steel object and smacking a little ball into a hole, and that's fun. It's a pointless activity. All right, Leonard. You Why don't you go plant right, a garden that's, or something? That's, that's your opinion. That's go fine. Go cook a nice meal that's or fine. go in there. Look I'm at not, a documentary. I didn't tell you like to that. go buy golf clubs and a collared shirt well, and fucking spikes uh, for your shoes. Aside from getting seasick, did you enjoy fishing? It was a learning. It was an experience, put it that way. Learning mm -hmm. and, you know, being around a different environment was very fulfilling. Now, fun, enjoyment, that never occurred into that. Did, not having fun or a bad time? No. Even though I puke? No, that's not involved either. I mean, people associate certain things with... I mean, I bet you there's people that when a mass shooter comes out, they think that's fun. You know, I want to get my shots in. I want to shoot him. You know, I'm going to evade him, see if I can make it out. Everybody's got these cookie-cutter definitions. And you got to really think, you know... What's going to benefit you? What's going to give you that experience? I mean, that's why a lot of people drink and do, they think it's, I guess, temporary fun, temporary feel good, which is, um, I, I could just never see doing something. I see, getting, your, I definitely see your point. And getting inebriated and sitting alone by myself and not thinking about anything. No, I go out and it's another way yeah, to, get, to interact get, with others. Go get in a fucking G-lock and be inebriated and end up in the fucking hospital. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an What's experience. the difference between getting in a G-lock and being drunk? A G-lock, you don't get a hangover. <laughs> and you, no, get you, a, you, you get a nice pulse for 14 of hours. HGH. <laughs> a 14 hour fucking Yeah, well, they my... sit there and say every stupid thing in the book. I was dehydrated. I have a negative drug test on my blood. This, that, and the other. I got high blood sugar. Well, when you take HGH, your blood sugar is going to be high because that fights for the insulin receptor. And with all that, you know, the words that blood sugar has nowhere to go when the insulin receptor is being blocked with the growth hormone receptor. That's why when you take GH, you must take insulin with it if you're taking a high dose. I'm talking about GHB. Uh, that's involved as well. <laughs> 
You see Tony Huge, he was talking about, he did mushrooms the other night. He was talking about that. What did he say? Would you ever eat mushrooms? You would eat mushrooms, wouldn't you? No, I don't like them. I put them on my steak, I get pissed off. No, I'm talking about the magic mushrooms. I've never tried it. You'd probably like it. (laughs) Maybe we should find some when we go out there. Better find something. Oh, don't worry. There's. Don't you worry, Leonard. Hear that, maniacs? <laughs> Hear that, tan, tan, tens? <laughs> I want to see something 6'2, 180, with tits and ass, and long fingernails to sc- scratch me up real nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andrew Kalor is right there watching. <laughs> He'll be knocking on all yeah, right. to hey, say. Hey, hey, can I sleep in there tonight? This fucking guy Let me in. losing it. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. I'm sure we, we'll be able to get our hands on a lot. I think you should room with Nate. That's what I think. Yeah. I think that'd be great. Well, at least Brad doesn't make any noise when he sleeps. No. Like, Nate, I can't, I can't imagine. He probably snores. He's getting so fat now. I know, I sent Kalora that video of you before I passed out of him talking about, what the fuck are you talking about? You're giving me a history lesson that, that night. The, ho- the holla hoax. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all the, he's in the middle of this whole rant about th- that shit, and he's like, I wish Christina was here. <laughs> I said, this is what you got to look forward to, Kalora. He's like, oh boy. <laughs> We used to, I mean, he used to fall asleep with sleep apnea when he'd come over to, I'd, we'd, I'd make breakfast sometimes, or he'd sit in my recliner, he'd be fast asleep in five seconds. His sleep apnea was so bad when he was over 300 pounds. Really? He wasn't sleeping at all, yet he'd wake up, we'd go to the gym, and he'd get on that bench and rub five plates. Amazing. But put him upright in a second, he'd be out. It's horrifying. That is. Well, he's got an apnea machine too, then, right? Yeah, but I don't think he uses it. It's like me. You get over a certain body right, weight. Right, you weren't using it when you were... When, when you I were... die for shows, and no, I don't need it. I was end up taking off on a sleep, sleeping pretty good. Look, I didn't, I didn't need much sleep. Did you try... Are you going to try the tubes tonight? The new mask? No, I'll try it probably in the weekend when I got some time, but I got to go try to get early to sleep tonight. Break it in before you go to Vegas. It's all new shit, Leonard. Use it. My dad gets them every few months, so whatever. <laughs> Fucking use Thanks, it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah. It should help. All right, we're about to wrap it up. What else? We got a, Somebody messaged me that restaurant. Heart, I think it's a Heart Attack Cafe or some shit. Heart Attack so, Grill? Heart Attack Grill. Maybe that's what yeah. it is in Vegas. They had one here in Delray in the Target Plaza. It was oh, open no a few shit. months. A big Italian guy I know had it open for three months. I ate the whole meal and the fucker lied to me. on The next one's supposed to be free. He fucking lied to me. What do you mean? I ate the fucking thing in a lot of time, and I came in and go, oh, you give me a run around. Like, Fuck this. If it happened now, we could have ordered 66 to place. Yeah, well, you could order 66 <laughs> Too bad it didn't happen now. It's kind of a shady character. All right, so we... Oh, uh, Andrew and... Tentatively, Andrew and Big Lou are doing the Florida Grand Prix at Kaiser University in West Palm Beach next spring. I think that's April, if I'm not mistaken. Your birthday. And they may be... I don't have birthdays. <laughs> And uh, they may be in the same weight He's class, such a fucking jerk. so they may be going head to head against each other. It's very interesting. But what? In- so maniacs come out for that one. That's a big show. How we'll old is Lou going to be? He'll be fifty. Does that put him? He'll in be the fifty mask? next week. And Andrew's over forty. You know who won everything at, at Lynn University, and then he went up to New York and competed in the show and won everything too. Is that? Remember the guy Scott that used to go to Old World Gym? We see him sometimes in the morning. He's a little mo- road warrior. Oh yeah, oh, huh? yeah. He fucking short guy. Yeah, great fucking shit. He's I think he's fifty. So yeah, he's uh, he's something. good on the basics, deadlifting off the floor. Yeah, he's in. He knows his he, shit. He won everything. He competed at that at that last show. That guy doesn't University. have an off season. He's always jacked. Yeah, he's That's, always lean. Yeah. Yeah, he's that. That's a guy that has a passion for the sport. Yeah, yeah and his son competes too. His son's a New York City cop, so they went. Up, he went up and competed up there, and he won up there too. Everything. He 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 knows his shit. That guy. He enjoyed the uh, Palumbo interview with you too. He told me. Great. Yeah, he he stands out. I mean, he, I saw him. Scott, on, yeah, he's he doing deadlifts, and see, he uses perfect form. Yeah. And he want to get learn how to be a bodybuilder. That's the guy you talk to. Yeah, I gotta see what his if he has an Instagram or any of that shit. I don't know if he's on any kind of social media, but he fucking knows his shit. 
He made a brief appearance in one of our videos at the Old World Gym. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I remember talking to him and saying, look, Jason, this is, yeah. and look at this guy. That's He's 50 right. years old, and look at you. And the way yep. he carries himself, not only does, does he look his age, he looks like some type of Superman. That's the aura I, yeah. I get from him, you know, it's like carries himself well yeah. you don't see like me slugging and he's a, he, he's a real he's a real nice guy too he'll yeah. answer any question you got he's he's cool good dude although don't ask when he's lifting some guys are nice but secretly yeah that's not what you want to do when guys are really in there when we wait till they're done yeah that's like andrew don't talk to him doing <laughs> yeah during a set that's somebody needs to have their me, hands really cut off for doing that. i don't really give a shit while you're repping and jason somebody always talks, does that to me every morning that's jason a cardinal does that. sin that's why i don't go to del rey anymore i go primarily to boca yeah i have to start i get a, I, get I, a, I can't well, i can't get any kind of decent training session in with jason you know, he has no consideration no. for any fucking body. He's got to work on that. <laughs> That's not, He's too selfish. Man. The one thing I learned about, about Lou. It's all about him. He cares about others. You yeah. know? Lou's a good guy. Him and, him and Jay you, may make up one of these fucking days. If you don't care about yourself, you're not going to care about others. And we're not here by alone. Like I said, thank God to all the people that do the waste, the police, the people on agriculture growing their food. Delivering it to the stores as much as we like to bitch. So, so some gratitude to that people, especially those SJWs. You're not doing the work. Fuck them. Selfish, lazy fucks. And they're just too busy. With their little masks. Looking, looking at what they can complain about. You ever now. notice how they yell at people and they shake their heads like little fucks? It's sickening. Go up to old people and chew them out. Veterans, disgusting. It is ridiculous. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. What, what song? Ah. What? Let's do that other one that we did last week. <laughs> All right, I think uh, the cat's out of the bag. I saw something on Instagram. Someone referred to Dale as that. So this is this will be, he'll find out now. <laughs> he should come out to it dancing around like a freak. All right. That would be funny. Good night, maniacs.